Welcome back to our channel, the first place where you can find the new interesting updates about Elon Musk, SpaceX, or anything related to space. Let's dive into today's episode. Why is the Boeing Starliner doomed? Is there no way to compete with SpaceX and Elon Musk? Along with SpaceX's Crew Dragon, Boeing's Starliner is one of two vehicles designed to take passengers to and from the ISS as part of NASA's commercial crew program. But now, people only talk about Starliner with a series of problems and delays for years. Why is this? Well, stay with us until the end of the video so you'll get the full story. Let's take a first look back at the starting point of both vehicles. Both Dragon and Starliner were developed to fill a particular need for NASA, getting astronauts and cargo to and from the ISS. This is different from the planned missions for both NASA's own Orion spacecraft and SpaceX's Starship, both of which may have lunar and even Martian missions in their futures. After NASA retired the space shuttle in 2011, the space agency was left with no alternative but to pay for rides on the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. However, NASA still wanted American astronauts to fly to the ISS from America without using orbit taxi businesses. So the commercial crew program was spun up to incentivize private industry to develop a private solution. NASA officials have consistently said the space agency prefers to see competition and redundancy in commercial space systems, and NASA gave Boeing a $4.3 billion contract to develop Starliner, and SpaceX a $2.5 billion contract to develop Dragon. Thus, it's clear that Boeing has an advantage over SpaceX from the very beginning. So where did it all go wrong? The development of the Boeing Starliner did not go well at all and has been plagued by a series of costly delays. Starliner launched on its first mission in late 2019. The capsule, which didn't have astronauts on board, was due to make a rendezvous with the ISS in a flight intended to showcase its capabilities. Starliner launched successfully aboard an Atlas V rocket on Friday, December 20th that year, but quickly encountered an issue with an onboard timing system. As a result, the capsule got itself into the wrong orbit, which meant it could not meet up with the space station. The mission was cut short, and after orbiting the Earth for a while, Starliner made a successful re-entry and landed back on Earth a couple of days after the launch. Boeing's second attempt to link Starliner with the ISS was initially scheduled for July 30th last year. However, with just one day to go before launch, the ISS experienced a problem with Nauka, a Russian module that accidentally fired its thrusters and pushed the space station off kilter. NASA and Boeing decided to push the launch back to the following week to give the ISS crews time to prepare the station for Starliner's arrival. After the Nauka delay, Starliner was prepared once more for an anticipated launch date of August 3rd. On the day, just hours before launch, Boeing's engineers detected unexpected valve position indications in the propulsion system. 13 of the 24 oxidizer valves in the propulsion system in Starliner's service module were stuck, and the launch was pushed back to August 4th. The issue was not fixed in time, and the launch was cancelled. The spacecraft was returned to its hangar for further examination. Till now, NASA and Boeing are still tracking down problems. To place little hope on the next test from Boeing no earlier than May, this time, Boeing decided to swap service modules, but who knows if this new module will work well, or will it encounter the same problems as the old module, causing further delays. But if all goes according to plan, the service module will launch atop ULA's Atlas V rocket and the Boeing spacecraft can join the orbital dance with the ISS and Dragon. But it's still just a dream. Wishful thinking. Talking about costs, of course, Boeing has opted to pay out of its own pocket for a second test flight. They said last October that they took on $185 million for the latest setback on the Starliner crew capsule, bringing the company's out-of-pocket costs on the troubled program to $595 million since 2019. While Boeing is still struggling to solve Starliner's problems, let's take a look at how successful Elon Musk's SpaceX has become. So far, only Dragon has successfully flown humans and cargo to the ISS. It made its first crewed flight in November of 2020. 
SpaceX has so far hosted four crewed launches to the station, bringing the total number of astronauts on the ISS to 10 people. SpaceX has pushed away from the dependence on Russia's one-time rocket Soyuz. Beyond NASA, SpaceX also has contracts with Axiom Space and Space Adventures for crew Dragon flights. Those achievements are enough to make Boeing envious, but it doesn't stop there. Recently, NASA has awarded three additional missions to SpaceX, bringing the total missions for SpaceX to nine, and allowing NASA to maintain an uninterrupted U.S. capability for human access to the space station. This is a firm fixed price, indefinite delivery slash indefinite quantity contract modification for the Crew-7, 8, and 9 missions. Bringing the total contract value to $3,490,872,904. I'm not sure if we needed to go that exact, but here we are. The period of performance runs through March 31st of 2028. Currently, flying with Crew Dragon and Falcon 9 is considered the safest, but Elon Musk and SpaceX are aiming to new heights with Starship, a fully reusable rocket designed to send up to 100 people and 100 tons to space at a time. The company is currently preparing for its first orbital flight and a crewed mission around the moon, which is scheduled for 2026. From there, SpaceX plans to send the first humans to Mars in the mid-2020s using the Starship. The long-term goal is to build a city on Mars by 2050. These days, Russia's attack on Ukraine has shocked the world. In response to sanctions from the Joe Biden administration, Russia has responded threateningly. Rogozin, who leads the Roscosmos agency, tweeted Thursday, If you block cooperation with us, who will save the ISS from an uncontrolled deorbit and fall into the United States or Europe? Another of his tweets said, There is also the option of dropping a 500-ton structure to India and China. Do you want to threaten them with such a prospect? The ISS does not fly over Russia, so all the risks are yours. Are you ready for them? Musk appeared to confirm that SpaceX would get involved should the ISS fall out of orbit. A Twitter user asked if that's what the tech mogul really meant, to which Musk simply replied, Yes. A big question arises. In an urgent time like this, where is Boeing? Why was Elon Musk the only one to speak up? Indeed, the Boeing Starliner has already faded, and once again, I assert that it has absolutely no chance to compete with SpaceX. What are your thoughts? Do you believe that Boeing still has a chance? Let us know in the comments down below. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Please like and subscribe Everyone's support will be the motivation for us to create more quality content. Thanks!